In this video, we're going to use a super, super important technique called logarithmic differentiation. And we're gonna use that to find the derivative of this function. So how do you know to use logarithmic differentiation? Well, the actual question actually says, uh, I didn't write it, but it says use logarithmic differentiation. Also, if you have a variable to a variable like this, typically that's a good candidate for logarithmic differentiation. So like x to the x, x to the sine x, x to something with x, typically that's a logarithmic differentiation type problem. So how do you do it? So the first thing you do is you take the natural log of both sides. So ln of y equals ln of x to the two over x. So the very first step when you're learning logarithmic differentiation, when you're applying it, is take the natural log of both sides. So this stays the same. So this is ln y. And then here you use the power rule. So you bring down the two over x. So it's two over x times the natural log of x. The next step is probably the hardest step. The next step, we have to actually differentiate both sides with respect to x. So here's where it gets a little funky. We're gonna use implicit differentiation. So when we take in the derivative of ln y, it's one over y times the derivative of the inside function. So your inside function is y. So its derivative with respect to x is simply dy dx. Again, it's one over y times the derivative of y with respect to x, which is called dy dx. If it was, if it was ln x and you're taking the derivative with respect to x, it's one over x times the derivative of the inside with respect to x. That's just dx dx, but we know dx dx is one, so you don't write it. Here it's dy dx, what's dy dx? Ha, ah, that's what we gotta find, right? So really, really important. That's where your dy dx comes from. Here we're going to use the product rule. So I'm going to think of this as the first piece and this is the second piece. Now, I have the derivative of 2 over x memorized. I remember the day I decided, hey, I'm going to memorize what the derivative of 1 over x is. So I'm going to do it up here on the side for you. So we have to take the derivative of the first piece. That's for the product rule. So what you do is you can rewrite it like this. Right, you can bring you can bring that x upstairs and it becomes negative, the exponent does. Then when you take this derivative, what happens here is you put the negative in the front and then you subtract one. So negative one minus one is negative two. So you get negative two over x squared. So this is going to be the derivative of the first piece. So again, at some point you say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna memorize that the derivative of one over x is negative one over x squared. And I'm never gonna forget it. So I never have to go to the side and do this again. It's worth it, it's worth memorizing. So again, the product rule is derivative of the first times the second, so this is our second piece, plus the first times the derivative of the second piece. So the derivative of the natural log of x is one over x. So times one over x. Let's go over that from the beginning. The problem originally says use logarithmic differentiation. So that's a surefire way to know that you should start by taking the natural log of both sides. So we're here. Then you bring it down using the power rule. Then you take the derivative with respect to x. So here the derivative of ln y is one over y times the derivative of the inside. The inside function is y, its derivative is dy dx, boom. Equals, here we want to use the product rule. Think of it as the derivative of the first times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. This is the product rule. If you don't recall, it's the derivative of the first, that's your first, times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So the derivative of this is this times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. We're almost done. We're looking for dy dx. Let's multiply both sides by y. So we have dy dx equals y, right? Multiply by y, multiply by y times all of this. It's a lot of writing, but it's worth it. Builds character. This is ln x plus, and this is two over x squared. Oh, look at that. It's all over x squared. Oh, I, 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 I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it for now. So that's kind of convenient um, because you can actually combine the fractions. Almost done. Let's say, well, we're not, we're not done. We're not done because we know what y is. Y is this. So as a last step, just replace y with what it actually is. So this is x to the two over x, replacing the y. And I suppose we could, 
We could combine these, right? Because it's all over x squared. How convenient. I didn't, I haven't done this problem, so it's kind of nice to see it worked out nice. So let's do that. Let's write it as negative 2 ln x plus 2 over x squared. And I'll put parentheses here for added clarity. And that would be the final answer. You could simplify the x's here. Like you could do some stuff here. Um, in particular, if you have x to the 2 over x over x squared, this is pretty wild. But we'll just leave it like this, but you could do this. You could subtract the exponents, right? That's, that's the next step. So you get x to the 2 over x minus 2. So you could write it like that and then have this left over, but I'll leave it like that. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.